me, Jen, your punchy picker, here at my desk. Again, I'm going to say what I said last week. I did not find that many today. I didn't find that much good stuff. A couple of gems, but, uh, and a story, of course. I mean, what would it be? Let me pick this paper up. It's sometimes post-it notes don't want to come off, and most of the time they fall off. So today I went to 15 garage sales. I had 14 in my GPS. I hit a couple extra and then one was closed. Don't know why. So I went to 15. I spent $26. Bought a few things for myself. Mm, not much. And the rest is for resale. So let's jump right in. So I got a whole bunch of towels. And this is what they look like. They're this peachy color with this pretty border. I looked them over. They're they're absolutely beautiful. They look almost brand new. They're Martha Stewart. The lady was selling them for 50 cents each. So yeah, I'm going to wash these up and replace a few of my towels that are looking a little tired. So yeah, so I got five of those. So not bad at all. Um, I have a couple of uh, towels that are kind of looking sad. So what I will do is I'm going to go through, I have five, I'll pull at least five that I have, and then I will bag those up and take them to the dog pound, because the dog pound uh, is always looking for towels, for lots of messes. So that's what I'll do. In fact, the last time I took towels to the, uh, <laughs> the dog pound, I came home with a dog. <laughs> that's not going to happen this time. Not going to happen. So that's those. So those are for me. Let me see. What else did I get for myself? Oh, a uh, lady had these, uh, these two, you can tell one is a little bit lower than the other. I think I paid 50 cents or 75 cents each for these. Yeah. And they are amber and bergamot. Same scent and everything. They smell delish. So I will burn those until I get down to the last little bit and they go out. And then I have my, uh, my candle warmer. So I have little bags of the leftover candles. That's what I use that for. So, and anytime I can pay that much for a candle, I'm very happy. I found, in fact, I think I, when I got this, it was $2.50. And then I found this one very pretty brooch. So I said, let's just make it three. So that will go out to my booth. Roach has been doing pretty well. I just took the ones that I got in the last Timu haul that I showed you. So I haven't uh, I haven't sold any of those yet. Like I just put them out. So we'll see how those do. Um, next item I got was for 25 cents each. We have a salt and pepper shaker and they're little ladybugs. So very cute. I thought those would do well. My, uh, my uh, salt and pepper shakers have been doing pretty well. So... Who knows? I bought a Bonnie. <laughs> he was three dollars. Someone would love to have him out in their yard, I bet. So uh, animal statues, big, small, or anywhere in between, they always do really well. So I know that one will do well. Probably put 14 bucks on it and it'll do just fine. Um, I got, let's see, I got three of these. These are absolutely beautiful. I know before you get on my case, they were dead when I got there, <laughs> sad to say. So these will probably go in my booth because I don't think you can sell these on eBay. There's certain restrictions they have on items. Did you know that you cannot sell birds' nests on there? Because people were going around and dumping birds out and eggs and taking them so they could sell them. Stupid. So I actually got three of those. This is the bigger of the three, and this is the smallest. So the other one I showed you was somewhere in the middle. So there's those. I saw this, and I don't know how I missed this, I always say. But uh, I got this beautiful little wood uh, airplane, two bucks. Very cute, a little dusty. You can tell it's been sitting somewhere, so it's got to be cleaned up. And then look at the... There's a strut or a support missing there. <laughs> so that's about the size of a, uh, a wooden skewer. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix it up. And then this will probably go into my booth. Yeah, it's just glued on there. And the hole that it goes in here is very small and superficial. So I will do that. And I have a little brown marker. I'll mark that and I'll get that right back to where it needs to be. 
and that will go into my booth for probably $14, $16, I'm guessing. I saw this, I don't know, birdhouses, no matter if they're hanging or if they're on a stand, they always seem to do really well. This one's got like metal and then some clear glass jewels. Very cute, and it was only $3. So that'll probably go to my booth for, I'd say, probably $14, $16. Um, another item that I found, I know these aren't worth really much, but they're very cool, and I will put them into my grab bags. So, of course, uh, they're in this box. So this box I could probably get four or five bucks out of. I paid four dollars. And inside here is eagle stamps. So there's a whole bunch of the stamps uh, in books and then loose. And then even under this little box that's full has a lot more. So I'm probably going to bag these up into, uh, I mean, there's a lot in there. Uh, there's some books, yeah, in the bottom. So I will divvy these up, put them in little bags. And then these will be in my mystery grab bags. Uh, anybody who's of a certain age will remember these. Uh, getting those at the grocery store and you could turn them in for different things. Um, they used to, uh, they would push them out of a machine. Then my mother would give me the book and then you'd uh, lick them and stick them in the book. So there was that. And then this was in there as well. What does it say? Uh, something publishing. Ranking bridge player. Requirements to opening bids. I have no idea, but it's vintage. Isn't that cool? So that will go in a mystery bag as well. I was very happy to get the box. Because <laughs> the, the wife, I was talking to the husband, and I said, how much for these? And he's like, oh, how much will you give me? And I said, well, I don't know why I said this. I said, sadly, they're not worth a lot, but they're very cool. And he's like, I'm still waiting to hear a price. So I said, how about $4? And he said, yes. And then I said, I just love old ephemera and going through it. And he's like, and I said, I just last week bought, or what was it, two weeks ago, I bought a whole bunch of matchboxes, matchbooks. And he's like, oh, let me show you these. So he went in another box and pulled these two out. And he's like, you ever seen ones like that before? And I said, I said, actually, there was some of those uh, in the in the big lot that I got. And he looked at me and he goes, he goes, well, I thought those were special. And I said, you know what? They're beautiful. I've never seen them a day in my life. And he just laughed. <laughs> so he handed them to me and I said, oh, are you giving them to me? He goes, yeah, put them with the rest of them. So this is a hair design studio. David Hemming. So look at these, aren't these cool? They're just like half, half match books. And then in here, it, oh, it has the, it has the address of the business. Pretty cool. So these will go into the lot of the rest of the ones I got. Then I'm going to be showing you a video of that. And then I'm going to get those bagged up and probably list them on eBay. So, <laughs> get myself some match books. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Um, I got some items for free, because free always is my favorite price. So these really pretty napkins. Not sure what I'm going to do with those. I have a couple ideas. This is a pillowcase, so I pulled this out, and then I put the other stuff in the pillowcase. And then these are little cherry cards. Aren't they adorable? So, yeah, free. Hey, can't beat that price. And the last item I got... And this was like the one thing I was like, you know what? This has probably made it worth me going out today. Was these three bags. Each one has six handkerchiefs for a dollar. They're vintage ones. So I'm going to finish talking to you and I will go through these real quickly. So I hope you like that I've been putting out some videos, some good content here for you recently. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff, share. I know when I'm watching a video, but the time I get to the end, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. So I know it happens. So we have in the first bag, we have this pink one, this blue one. Oh, look at the pretty flowers. And the little yellow flowers. We have roses. Roses on there more roses 
and then some daisies. I love when they have the little scalloped edge as well. And the next bag, this one looks like the one I just showed you, but this one has a purple edge. There's that one. This with the yellow flowers. More yellow flowers. Oh, so pretty. Uh, this one's like the pink one, but it's blue. Blue roses. And then more blue roses. And then the last one, the edges on these are so cute. They're just adorable. So three for 18. That's, you can't beat that. Okay, so here's the first one. Look at the look at the edge on that one. Can you imagine sitting there and stitching that? Ugh. So there's that one. This real pretty minty green one. We have a purple one. It doesn't look like there's any design on the actual fabric. We have another purple one, kind of a variegated. Oh, look how fancy! This pretty green one with the yellow flowers. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That took such talent to do that. And then this one is the last one. So these will probably go, I know there's several people in our mall that sell uh, handkerchiefs, the older ones like these, for like two to $3 a piece. And they, uh, they kind of sort of sell, but not a lot or not fast. So these I will be putting in my mystery my ladies and mystery bags, they smell like a little old lady's purse. <laughs> so not too bad on those. Very happy when I got those. I was like, okay, I feel like it was worth coming out today. And that is it. I'm not kidding you. That's all I got. So it wasn't so hot, so that was good. Uh, the week before and the, the two weeks before that were just like horribly, horribly hot. So I was very glad. It's raining. The sun's actually out right now. So it's a little too late for me to lay out in the sun. But I'm still getting brown. Slowly, slowly. The Hungarian blood in me. So again, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And then you can kind of customize what you want to hear. And then when I put up a video, it'll bing for you. And there I'll be. <laughs> Since someone, a couple people have commented, yes, you are waiting for my videos. That's really sad. No, I'm just kidding. But I appreciate you guys so very much. I appreciate your comments. How has garage selling been in your neck of the woods? I heard several people who are running sales going, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I want to take a few years off. It's so much work. You know, so it is. It is. Running a garage sale is a lot of work. And I know that, and I appreciate the people who do it, because I find so many good and delightful things, especially historic things, like the stamps and then these. Those are the two items that I, I am really glad that I went out for today. Towels aren't bad either. So again, I will see you guys next time. Uh, let me know, how's your garage sale season? Is it eh, like mine? And I will talk to you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.